If you've been in the cryptocurrency market for a while or know a lot about what's going on in the market, you know that it's a long way from where it was a year or two ago. In this video, we'll talk about how it looks like things might finally start to get better. Disclaimer the cryptocurrency market is still a long way from where it was a year or two ago, as I just said. Most coins, including SHIP, will reach their all-time highs in 2021, but the cryptocurrency market took such a hit in 2022 that it hasn't been able to get back on its feet much since then. Part of the reason for this is that many people no longer believe in the Bitcoin market. There are still millions of people who hold on to their tokens like sheep, but most of them have been holding on for a long time. People didn't come to the market in large numbers. Also, many people who stayed in the market lost some of what they had invested because the value of the tokens they held kept going down without going up much. Still, this is an interesting thing. Bulgaria has more than 200,000 bitcoins, which is worth about $6.3 billion. This was only discovered recently. In May 2017, the country tried to stop a criminal group by using an online arrest to take several bitcoins from them. It looks like they've kept it all this time, and now their stock is worth billions of dollars. So that you can get an idea of how much Bulgaria is. You should know that they have one of all bitcoins. When the bitcoins were taken, they were only worth about $500 million, but it's clear that their value has gone through the roof since then. This also means that Bulgaria has more bitcoins than the US, which still has a lot at 194,000 bitcoins. As you may already know, Bulgaria isn't the only country that is interested in bitcoin in some way. I've already talked about the United States, which has a lot of bitcoins, hundreds of thousands. But you may also remember that El Salvador went one step further and made Bitcoin a legal form of cash. It was done to help make sure everyone has access to money and to help the business of the country grow. Also, the country just recently passed a law that says how digital currencies can be made and sold. According to the law, the goal of this law is to set up a legal system that makes it easier to share ownership of digital assets used in public issuance offerings. From what has been said, it is clear that El Salvador is a country that supports cryptocurrency. Many countries have rules about cryptocurrencies that explain more about how to make one with real money. But El Salvador hasn't stopped there. The president of El Salvador, who is also the head of NAB Bukel, said that in November 2022, the government will buy one Bitcoin every day. El Salvador has been buying one Bitcoin every day since then and wants to keep doing so. It will soon be competing with countries like Bulgaria and the United States to see who can get the most bitcoins. But more importantly, if their plan to hold more cash turns out to be good for the country, other countries may start to do the same. So what should I do now? Well, a lot of the same things would happen if BlackRock joined the cryptocurrency market and more countries bought coins. This would also make people trust the market more. But before we get to that, Let's talk about this station. Every day, it feeds 100,000 sheep. If you want to join in, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this movie, and leave a review. A term is Shiba Vic. Best of luck. Think about it. People don't invest in cryptocurrency because they don't have power over it, which some people think is not safe. But the fact that cryptocurrency is being used in more places, even though it is still not censored, might make these people think that it is a safe choice right now. Some people might wonder how this relates to it. After all, none of these nations has talked about keeping the symbols. Well, I think you'll be glad to hear that a lot of new sponsors are interested in her. Recent data shows that the number of new buyers of Shiba in us has gone from about 30 to about 65. This suggests that many people who want to get into cryptocurrency are thinking of Shiba. If more people start to think of Shiba as an investment, the value and popularity of the sheep could go up as well. That's right. This is how things work. The more people who come, the more interest there is. And worth and price always go up when there is more demand than supply. If this can be done cheaply, countries that want to get into the cryptocurrency game might start thinking about shipping. If the government wanted to get involved with Bitcoin, it would probably look for a few things. One of them is the project safety, and the certificate shows that the Shiba Inu is good at this. 
most likely. States will also be looking for cryptocurrencies that can be used in a lot of different ways. Shiba Inu does this with all of their projects, so it seems like it would be a good choice for any party. If you really like this, please leave a review and tell your friends about it. It really helps with YouTube's system, so I can keep making better videos. At the same time, the US government showed in court documents made earlier this year that it had sold almost 10,000 bitcoins for about $215 million. He wanted to make a lot more sales. Ross Ulbricht, who started the Silk Road as a way to stop it, had about 41,000 bitcoins taken from him in the end. It was thought that all of these tokens would be sold at once. The plan was to sell them at different times of the year. As SHIB buyers, it looks like there will be another sale soon since the first batch sold out in March. If a lot of bitcoins are returned to the market, it's hard to say what will happen. Things that affect the price of bitcoin are known to affect the price of SHIB as well. If the US still wants to sell some of those bitcoins, hopefully the market won't be hurt too much. I have to say, though, that I think it would be best if the US government kept all of these coins. One thing this could mean is that bad impacts might not hurt the market. And second, it could mean that the government still has some bitcoins, which could help people trust the currency. Just one last thing to do before we go. Deep learning algorithms were used by Gulf Capital's data analytics tool to figure out how much a sheep cost. Date, July 27, 2028. Before you get your dreams up for five years from now, you should know that the platform didn't say that a sheep will be worth 0.1 or 1 in the future. If you are upset, you might want to keep in mind that this is just a guess. Anyway, let's go back to the stage. It said that the price of sheep would go up by more than 2500 by 2028. In fact, the platform said that sheep would only be worth 3 zeros by 2026, which I think is a good estimate. The site said that Shiba Inu owners may want something different than 0.1 Dream. But keep in mind that this is just a guess. This isn't the case. There is no way to know for sure what will happen in the next few years, especially when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Try not to let this worry you too much. In the meantime, you can tell us in the space below what you think of the forecasts. The end of this movie has come. Please give the video a thumbs up and say something in the comments if you liked it. This is a big help in understanding how YouTube works. Please tell as many people as you can about this movie as well. Let's talk about this with everyone.